What is the information age? And what can we expect from it? What does it demand of us in return? Is the telecommunications revolution we are experiencing really the beginning of a true new age? Or is it merely a further enhancement of the industrial age? We submit that the information age is, in fact, a true new age. The principle driving that new age forward is the interconnection of computers via telecommunications. In short, total information systems. This principle is the equivalent of the invention of the assembly line. But the principle driving a new age forward is not the same thing as the new age itself. For instance, the assembly line, mass production technique, is commonly used to describe and provide a definition of the industrial age. But the assembly line was not the new age itself. It was the means that brought about that new age. The industrial age itself was really a new set of dependencies that arose as people came to rely upon all the products that came off those assembly lines. The cars, the radios, the TVs, the toasters, and other goods as well as the service businesses that developed to support those products. It was these new dependencies that separated us from our farming forefathers and which brought about an entirely different way of life than had ever been known before. And this is what is already beginning to happen as people and businesses are coming to depend upon these new information systems that are becoming the building blocks of a new way of life. One simple illustration is that of a retail store operation that decides to close its stores and to run a catalog operation with a toll-free 800 number as the business's front door. This kind of dependency could not have existed in the past. And there are a growing number of applications of just-in-time manufacturing and just-in-time inventory where a competitive edge is gained by substituting a strong flow of information for large outlays of capital for goods or parts. Both of these techniques have products and parts arriving just in time for sale or assembly and avoid costly warehousing. And they too are techniques and dependencies that could not have existed in the past. ISDN service, which allows the simultaneous transmission of voice, data, and images through one transmission pipeline, will expand these information handling capabilities towards an almost limitless horizon. Eventually, these systems will be in the home, citywide, regional, national, and global in scope, providing instantaneous access to information in a manner never seen before. But for the information age to reach its full potential, two requirements must be met. The first of these is total reliability. Information systems users must know that they can depend upon their voice, data, and image systems 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. They must be able to believe that these information systems will always be there in the same manner that they are now able to believe that electricity will always be there at the flip of a switch. Secondly, in order to operate these information systems on a continuous, real-time basis, economical transmission must be available in abundance. It is these principles that AT&T is applying in evolving the AT&T Worldwide Intelligent Network and in building and designing our products and services to bring the benefits of the information age to our customers. For the information age is a true new age. And as we head deeper into that future, AT&T intends to be the leader every step of the way.